Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and this is your photo news fix. I just can't take Sony seriously until they have wide angle fast glass. You know what I'm saying? Wait, what's that? Hold on. Hello? Uh, hi, this is Sony. Oh. Well, Sony just announced two ultra-wide full-frame E-mount lenses which will be out later this summer. First, we have the 16-35 f2.8 G Master lens, G-Unit, which is priced at $2,200. Next up, we have the 12-24 f4, which is not part of the G Master line, but Sony says it weighs only 20 ounces, which is less than half the weight of the Sigma 12-24 art lens, and it will produce, and I quote, out standing image quality. I hope so because it's priced at $1,700. Now I think this announcement brings me one step closer to being able to consider using a Sony A9. You now officially have a Hebrew Trinity for Sony, a 12 to 24, a 24 to 70, and a 70 to 200. That's what I call my grab and go kit that I can use anywhere in the world. Yes, I know they're still missing something like a 302.8, but is that really needed? Honestly, no, not for me at least. I personally own a 302.8 VR2 from Nikon, and to be honest, I prefer taking the 300mm f4 PF instead because it's so much lighter and the quality is still awesome. So what do you think about these two lenses? Will you be picking either or both of them up? Don't forget to like this video, please. Like it for me, man. For me. For me. For me! Introducing face filters for Instagram. Yes, this feature is similar to what you would find on Snapchat, but at this point, it's safe to say business is business. A while back, Facebook purchased a company called Masquerade and finally have incorporated their tech into Instagram. Instagram's blog says the filters are, and I quote, an easy way to turn ordinary selfies into something fun and entertaining. The new face filters work with both the front and rear facing cameras and can be used with the boomerang feature. Some of the filters include nerd glasses, nerd! a flower crown, bunny ears, and even an ice crystal tiara. Era. How do I look? Does it does it look good? Does this crown look good on me? On top of the face filters, Instagram now allows you to record using a rewind feature, use hashtag stickers, and even added an eraser brush when using the drawing tool. Some people say drawing. You sound like you're from London. Which filter is your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Finally, Google will soon be able to automatically remove objects from photos. But can't Photoshop already do this, you may ask? Well, yes, Photoshop does a really good job by intelligently filling in areas by looking at what's surrounding them. But if I had to guess, Google will want to make something like this even easier and include it for free in some sort of mobile app as well as in Google Photos. The sample they used as a demonstration shows a baseball player up to bat with a chain link fence in the way. As you can see, the fence just disappears right before your eyes. Now there wasn't a lot of information about how far this tech is away from being ready for consumers just yet. But if they can pull this off and offer it for free, I think it might be a pretty cool feature. Now let's try it out and see if we can remove all the distractions from our set. Did it work, Steven? Did it work? Can you see me? And there you have it. That's your photo news fix this time around. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, and keep an eye out for photo news fix two or three times a week. To check out the last photo news fix, go ahead and click up here right now. And there you have it, Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.